Hello everyone, this is Dr. Brian Campbell. I wanted to take a moment to talk to you about the, con the process of Christian counseling again, and I wanted to focus again on the notion of beliefs. Remember, it is my contention that what we're doing primarily in Christian counseling is identifying irrational beliefs, things that people bought into that are lies, challenging those, and replacing them with the truth, and the truth sets you free. Now for the secular counselor, they can't do very much in terms of the truth. For Christians, we have the truth, and it's in the Bible and the Holy Spirit. So we can use that to challenge the irrational beliefs. That challenge is called refutation, cognitive refutation. So that's a process in cognitive therapy. We do the same in Christian cognitive behavioral therapy. We're going to refute the irrational beliefs that people have bought into. So I've told you about how we can identify some of those with children uh, using that handout called the parental patterns, and we identify some of the really toxic things that children have bought into or believe and accept as being true because their parents told them. And there are also those same scripts that are taught to us and those lies, that, similar lies that are taught to us by the world. So we have to get in there and correct those lies. So we're identifying those, challenging them, and replacing them with the truth. Remember, the challenge is called refutation. And the basis for all of this is 2 Corinthians 10.5. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. So there's really a biblical basis for this process of cognitive restructuring and cognitive refutations. We're to demolish arguments and every pretense that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And of course we know that those lies that are taught to children, those toxic beliefs, beliefs, uh, are, beliefs are lies and they're not the truth. And so how do we do that? Well, one of the things we can do is give individuals selected scriptures that help correct the irrational belief. So we identify the belief and then we find specific scriptures that would uh, defeat those irrational beliefs. Another thing I do is just in general help people understand who they are in Christ because when they understand who they are in Christ that corrects a lot of the irrational beliefs that they bought into in the toxic beliefs. For example, I have a chapter in my book where I go over the scriptures and, and go over the scriptures that tell us who we are in Christ. For example, I am a child of God. I am made in God's image. I am God's temple. I am a wonderful handmade creation of God. Now those positive self-statements, those statements from the scriptures backed with actual scriptures will then argue against and help demolish those irrational beliefs. So we can have people read those, we can have people memorize them and go over them. The brain, unfortunately, is fallible and once it records all these, all these false beliefs, it tends to believe it. So we have to get in there really working to help people to correct their thinking, to correct those irrational beliefs, to set them free. So I hope you'll uh, start to understand now the, the concept of cognitive refutations and we'll revisit that later on. God bless.